Yeah, so I know I look really tired and my hair is out of control, but I saw your, uh, and I also sound like Barry White. What's going on? Oh, yeah. My darling, I can't get a love for your love, baby. I'm oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, back back on topic. Um, I've tried contacting you before on here because I live in Hollywood as well. And I see the videos that you post, and it's, it's, I know it's tough out here. It's tough for everybody, especially people who are genuine, which you, you know, you seem to be pretty genuine. Um, I don't have a whole ton of friends out here either, it's even after being here for three years, because you're right, for the most part, I mean, to be blunt about it, people are full of shit. It's a facade. LA's like smoke and mirrors and uh, your enemies and your friends stab you from the back. Being out here for three years, um, I've gone through what your buddy's going through. It's hard to even talk about. Like, you're gonna be depressed sometimes. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna go through the times where you question like, what am I doing out here, you know? Am I gonna be successful? You know, it was so much easier at home why am I broke all the time? I can't keep a job. Like, uh, I don't know. Am I alone in this? Now, with dealing with your buddy, pretty much the only thing you can do is just sit there and be for him. Be, be. I need to go back to bed. Be there for him. Um, you've already tried to help him. Like, that's cool. Um, I've almost moved home a few times because Chicago's the shit. But, and I miss my family. And, um... Kind of a weird story. Actually, the reason I stayed in Los Angeles is because I did, I did this dating show for MTV. I did date my mom. I tried to get the, the clip on here, but it didn't have the right file name or whatever. Um. And one of the girls on the show that I didn't end up picking, um, I kept in contact with the mom because the mom was cool. Like we talked back and forth, and she's like, uh, and I talked with the daughter as well, and. Uh, her mom calls her and says, let's go out um, to dinner. You know, bring Chris. You know, we want to have dinner with Chris. So I'm sitting there and I'm talking with them. And, and I'm like, yeah, I'm thinking about moving home. And I've been in Los Angeles for about, uh, probably about eight or nine, know, like ten months at this point. It's like, yeah, my lease is up in a couple months. I think I'm going to move home. And the mom basically just set me straight. She was like, you've been here how long? You've been out here ten months? And you're already thinking about going home? You can't accomplish anything in a year here. It takes a while to get set up in Los Angeles. And, I, and basically, <laughs> not, not in these words, but said, Pussy, you better sack up and be a man and try and make it. Sometimes that's what you need, just a swift kick in the ass. So your particular situation, um, yeah, just be there for him. He's, he's going to go through this stage, and it's going to suck to watch it happen. But... Um, we all go through it. I'm sure you've gone through it. And you'll come out of it. And if he's got great friends like you to, you know, help him through it, then, you know, that's all he really needs. On a, on a quick side note, um, <laughs> karaoke in Los Angeles is psychotic. See, like, I am a singer. Like, that's why I came out here. And I, I even noticed that, you know, People actually bring in their own karaoke CD. It's it's psychotic. People like, and I'm friends with a lot of people who uh, who run karaoke and uh, who host karaoke. Um, I worked at the Saddle Ranch over on Sunset for about two years, and <laughs> till about a month ago actually. And um, so I knew the karaoke guy well. He'd always just bump me up, and when I would get that I would sign up and be up in five minutes where someone signed up and was waiting like an hour, they would come and ream the karaoke. Why does that guy get to go on? He just came in here. It's like, I'm like, oh, this is not like back at home. Back at home, you could just, it really didn't matter because everyone was wasted anyway. But these people have it in their minds that when they go up and they sing that karaoke song, um, Oh my God! It's gonna happen for me. I'm gonna make it. This and that, and it it rarely works out like. What I'm saying is, don't don't let that deter you from singing karaoke, cause 
um, people people are stupid out here and and honestly I mean if you ever if you ever respond or whatever and ever want to be friends you know I know some I know a lot of spots in Los Angeles where you go with they're not out of their damn minds when it comes to karaoke so in summation I suppose um, just stick with your buddy be be a good person like I think you are and uh, he'll make it through it just fine